Hello everyone, I'm the cat, <laughs> and I'd like to talk to you about my internet setup and how you can get yours to be as, um, as awesome as possible. Uh, first off, don't use wireless. Wireless is total crap for gaming, even wireless controllers. It's all crap for gaming. Who wants to be right in the middle of playing something with friends and your controller craps out because you need to replace batteries? So that's why I have a wired controller. It's easier and I don't have to buy batteries all the time. It's cheaper, it's easier, in the long run it saves money and it saves hassle. I cannot explain how many times I've tried to yell at someone Hey, what is your problem? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, I gotta change my batteries. That's the reply I usually get. <laughs> like, dude, wireless is crap for gaming. Why are you, why, what are you doing? Why, why are you doing this? So, go wired all the way. Uh, in my box, I've got this Ethernet cord, which plugs into a gateway. It comes with the uh, ISP package I got. But there you go. This little box is called a gateway. It's it's a combined um, router modem combo. It works faster. It's a lot better. It comes with a business package. And that's what uh, a lot of really enthused people such as myself, enthused for gaming, get specifically to game on a business connection the reason being is you pay an extra fee to set up a static IP address now a static IP address makes sure that your connection is always open when you plug it in to your in your console, advanced settings, the IP settings. Yeah, you plug in your, uh, you go into there and you go and set it to manual. Then you plug in the numbers for uh, the static IP, uh, the subnet mask, the gateway, the two DNSs, first and the second one. And when you set up a static IP, with your internet service provider which is ISP they give you these numbers all you have to do is ask and they'll give you between one and five and it costs depending on how many you get uh, they have a uh, set service package with set numbers of how many of these uh, static IPs they'll give out to you right now I'm just using one I don't need more than one even though I have um, even though I have my Xbox over there and, and, and laptop over here for uploading, I don't need more than one IP right now. Um, oh yeah, right there, my NAT type, saying open. There you go. That is what happens when you get a static IP address, and you have to call your internet server, server, service provider, your ISP, you have to call them up. You have to say, hey, I want to get a static IP address on a business account. And yes, it does cost more, but it is worth it. You will see... Um, you will see pixelations, uh, blurring, uh, blocky imagery. You will see uh, latent connection. And you will see... Uh, what's that other thing? You will see those things di disappear almost completely. So far, I haven't had any problems after I plugged in my static IP numbers. And depending on which ISP you have it'll determine how much you pay for business connection and it's always going to be more money than a uh, residential package and 
you know, if, if your parents or you went with a just a promotional that was on television that was publicized, a, pub, a publicized promotional, I guarantee you 100%, I am absolutely certain 100% that that is a residential package. So, yeah, it's more money, but it's worth it because your, your NAT will be open. You will be able to stay connected in your games. You'll have very few server to client side communication errors, which is, you know, the the server is like Microsoft servers and the client being you or me. So when you set that up, all your all your little um, problems with pixeliation and whatnot will almost disappear completely. However, I need to add this in because a lot of people don't know this. The people I've talked to, they have no idea. If you are the only one using the internet, it's going to be perfectly fine for you. If your folks or someone else gets on to your wireless connection or plug a wire into your gateway which is the piece of equipment you'll get and they use it it's gonna cut how much bandwidth you're using depending on a lot of things but basically it's generally it's gonna cut it in half and the number they tell you where oh you get 30 megs that's download speed that's how much information comes in that's how much maximum uh, information bits per second is 30 megs that doesn't tell you your outbound or your upload speed um, your upload speed if you're gonna do gaming and you're gonna have all of your settings on a game like Warframe set to their best looking settings then you're gonna want to have a high download and a high upload some companies offer what's called a symmetrical package which is the same number of upload and the same number of download uh, speeds if you can if you're a gamer enthusiast go for that package with a static IP on a business account go for that one that's a good one that would be better than what I have. Um, let's see, where was I? Oh yeah, upload and download. The number they'll tell you on the commercial, that's always going to be the download speed. It's always going to be several times larger than your upload speed. And for gamers, you need to look at both of them and you need to determine how much of what kind of game do you do and how much information it's sending from your console to the server for everyone a game that's um, like a battle royale where you're fighting bunches of different people or you're interacting with a lot of things all at once you're gonna want a higher upload if you have a lot of friends and you have uh, a huge server for a game you jump onto you're gonna want to have a high upload as well as a high download um, most internet packages are like 30 meg download and that's like five maybe seven upload that's not a lot especially if if you're gonna try to stream using mixer on xbox you're you're gonna want an increase to your upload speed because if if you're just sitting there and your stream is blinking on and off your friends are getting a notification every time it blinks letting them know you've just started streaming because it's restarting itself over and over again i've had this happen where someone didn't know that their internet was complete crap 
and I told them, stop, okay? Just stop. Stop trying to stream. You can't do it. It's crashing every five seconds. That was annoying. <sighs> Cats are nocturnal. Okay. If there's anything I missed, or if you have any extra questions, don't hesitate to ask, but uh, don't don't be slanderous and harassing. I don't have time for that. No one has time for that. If you're genuinely curious and you want to know more, just ask. I don't have a problem making a list of questions to answer. In fact, I kind of enjoy it, being somewhat of a nerd myself. Till next time, everyone. If you liked, or if you found out something new you didn't know before, hit the like button. Let me know. Leave a comment letting me know that you learned something new. If you really enjoyed, subscribe. Share this video with your friends and go and support my channel on Patreon. That way I can buy more equipment to do more things with for everyone to enjoy. Thanks, and until next time, bye.